From the earliest days this week, the marathon ceased to be about running, and it was all about how best to aid New York City. It is with uh, incredibly heavy hearts today, tonight, that we share that the best way to help New York City at this time is to say that we will not be conducting the 2012 ING New York City Marathon. I don't know anybody who doesn't love the marathon, who doesn't love what the marathon means to New York. And this year, obviously, that changed. And there were people who found the marathon, the very idea of it, to be painful. And that's not what the marathon is. That's not what it's about. This is a unifying event. It's a, not a divisive event. And it's a, if it's a divisive event, it's not the marathon, and it's better to do it next year when it's back to being the marathon again. Well, I think that's a wise decision. I think it's cruel and insensitive to have it when so many people are suffering. Let them uh, let turn the power off at Gracie Mansion and uh, let Mayor Bloomberg endure what everybody else is enduring around the tri-state area. Cancel it before we come. Cancel it two days ago when everyone had an opportunity to not spend all that money. Are we going to be reimbursed? I mean, we understand we're so sorry for the people that have suffered. And, you know, a natural disaster is a terrible thing. But we can't change we that. So let us run. And we were donating so much to the cause. We were helping people through our running. I've run the marathon four years in a row. I was supposed to run this year. I decided a few weeks ago I'm not ready to run. But if I was running, I wouldn't do it. I don't think it's the right thing. And I'm glad Bloomberg canceled it because he did the right thing.